Hello, 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 hello. Right, welcome to the stream. My name is Berkeley, and today we are playing The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. So we can have all the voice acting, so I don't have to do it myself, and also updated graphics. So I'm just going to unmute the uh, audio, and we get to have some lovely music. So no, there we go. So uh, yes, I hope everyone. It's having a lovely day today. So just gonna make sure the audio is right. And maybe a bit more because I'm streaming. So I do ultra. Hopefully that is loud enough for people to hear. So uh, yes, let's start a new game. This is actually a... Oh. I think this is the old graphics, so... Uh, options. Controls. Uh, version hospital. Oh, it's a start of the same. Never mind. Ah, that's... <laughs> that's how you do it. Oop, that's got that clicked off. There we go. The music in this is... It is wonderful, basically. I could just sit here listening to the music, really. Um, <laughs> but, um, I've done really nice work remastering this game. But, um, yeah, considering this is actually a very long game, I have actually got the walkthrough just to remind me of some bits. So uh, if I get a bit lost, um, <laughs> I will be referring to that, but I'll be trying not to look at it. Ooh, read that. Yeah. So really not look at Discord while somebody beats me, but never mind. <laughs> oh wait, I've never got something. There we go. Right. <laughs> Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Also, do excuse me, I have got a uh, cold, so I'll be sniffling a little bit. Uh, hopefully not coughing, but I will mute myself if I feel one coming on. So, um... Yeah, just to show you what the graphics used to look like. Funny enough, I actually prefer this sometimes, but uh, we'll go to the new graphics, just so that uh, better for everyone. And plus it's voice acting. So heading to the Scummer Bar, which is here. Ahoy there, stranger. New in town? My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guy Brush 
Three pun? <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seapun. So, what brings you to <laughs> Melee Island, anyway? I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. Funny enough, we can also talk to the dog. We are pretty much getting a gist of, the, of what's happening from a dog. <laughs> Called Spiffy. So, um, yeah, I'll not do that anymore. <laughs> Let's go to the important looking pirates over here. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So, why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole egg chunk thing. So, so, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. You don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, and the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. <laughs> and return with proof that you've done it. That's not so hard. <laughs> you must drink grog with us. Grog! What's in that grog stuff anyway? <laughs> Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile, Substances, no demand. The stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> I'll just be running along now. But leave us to our group. <clears throat> Come back later and tell us how you're doing. But we do need to nick a few things, but we have to. Hey, you can't come back here. I have to wait till the cook leaves. Hopefully he leaves anyway. There he goes. And there we go. Right, we pick up. It's some sort of meat or meat like substance. Uh, that's inventory we need to pick up. Uh pot of stew we need to pick up. That one. Uh, 
Oh, that's how you change it. I think that bird will peck my hand off. There we go. He's now sad bird. Right, that's what we have to get from here. And the Seth goes back that way. Right. Meanwhile, deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Sir, nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I. It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well... There seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Right. Now we need to get out of the uh, out of town. I walk to the cliffside and walk to the path. So uh, yes, we need to make some money first. So we need to go to this clearing. This is basically the map. Well. One of the maps for one of the islands. This is Melly Island. Trademark. Um, <laughs> yes, we're going to join the circus. It's to be a pirate, we must join the circus. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Raphael. Pop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. I'm selling these fuck. Say there, son. <laughs> How do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Perugini brothers. That's us! My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is uh, get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Uh, quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? 
How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of aid? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sorry. Right, I need to give them. Someone cooked the head cheese in this. Oop, no. Want. No, not give the fish. Give. Where is it? Give. Right. That will work as a helmet. There we go. Now we can do the trick. You have to get used Step to right the uh, here, new controls. <clears throat> now put on your helmet and get in the cannon, and we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? W where's my helmet? He's all right! <laughs> we are spared an embarrassing and a financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is a five. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! Alright, now that we have some money. <laughs> exactly 478 pieces of eight. I have no idea how much that actually is. But uh, I think we need to go... Back to the village. Can't get there yet. Go deeper into town. Ah. Close that door. There we go. This guy. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? What is that? Some sort of code? Of course it's a code, you idiot. Never mind. Good night. Excuse me, but do. Now oh, it's only you again. I just want a map. Shh. Pipe down, will you? That ugly sheriff might be around here. Now then, let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. All right, we do it need to buy it. I'll take it. So, a swell gift. There we go. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Right, we can also have a look at the map. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like <laughs> dancing lessons. <laughs> Back, left, right. right. That is actually technically the map, so don't worry about that. So, uh... hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats. They're very intelligent creatures. <laughs> More intelligent than him. 
Why, there's a story around these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island. No, that's not right. It was actually a group of monkeys. That's difficult to believe. Yes, but it's true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty penny. Only time I've seen anyone get the better of old Stan in a deal. <laughs> I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky-looking man on the opposite corner? Saw you buying a map from that fellow over there. Have you looked at it yet? <laughs> Perhaps you should consider an alternate source. Our maps are top quality, not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. Can't even give them away. <laughs> Want one? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Alright, we now have some more pieces of eight. Uh, I think we need this door is at the other door. This one. Right, um, we need to pick up this rubber chicken. Uh, that's the minutes. That's not what I wanted. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Trust me, we need that, that rubber chicken. What may I help you with, son? <clears throat> Wait, don't say anything. I can sense your name is, is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No, no. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? <clears throat> Excuse me, just had to cough then. Wow, that was amazing! Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. <laughs> so, my mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. That's I all right, am I? A vision. Only about. That's right, we're only 25 minutes in, so don't worry. A voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see. Is your dear right, by the way? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! Um, it's. It's going alright so far. I have monkey. got myself a little walk through Girls. just in case I get a bit stuck, Weird. but, uh. Yeah, we're not all that far in, actually, it's so, uh... It's becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see that's right. things better left As long as the game unseen. audio is fine, I don't mind about myself, so... Better left I think I might be a bit too loud, so, uh... You will learn things better left unlearned. Why just turn myself down a little bit? There we go. Kind of things. There we go. I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. That's good. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. But yes, we're on a we're on a task to become a mighty pirate. Yes. And in the process we have stolen a rubber And in the process we have stolen a rubber chicken. So um <laughs> Right. 
need to possibly oh, hi there, fancy pants. Right. You get a sword and a shovel. What do you want? Oh, uh, the... well, I think I just like to browse for now. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. The chicken has a pulley in it, so um, it that is important later. Uh, the plot is. Well, we're basically just trying to be a. Did you uh, just come in here to get out of the cold, or do you actually need something? Got a special on shows today. About uh, the plot sword. is basically we're trying yeah, to become a pirate. I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. And um, you we made some money by joining the circus. And uh, this shovel? we got fired out of a cannon. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Right, we now have to leave. Hey, you! Hello? Oh, I'm Anybody in, this in bit here? Now. Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, no Yeah, this is the uh, remastered version. I can say what it used to look like. It used to look like this. <laughs> it's actually a much older game than Samurai Max and uh, Day of the Tentacle. So, uh. Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a remastered one. Now, why are you in such a hurry? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I was just leaving. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Yes, Boy, that's a lot. I feel much better <laughs> knowing there's an officer of the law around. Yes, uh, Melly Island is trademarked. <laughs> right. Now we actually have to go back this way. Right, we now have to learn sword fighting. And this is why we need the rubber chicken. <laughs> There's actually a reason why it's a uh, very wacky perspective. It's, um. Oh, it's not that one, is it? I can't remember where I'm going. Um. Right, we need to go to Hook Island. Rubber chicken, kale. See, rubber chicken. Yeah, 
think we need to be here first? No, we don't. Yeah, I did see. Well, I did see the notification pop up on my uh, phone. I just haven't looked at it yet. Um, actually, going to the wrong place first. So, uh, you uh, not give. Use rubber chicken on table. Yeah, but we have got it works both ways. That's some chicken. All right, I need to get down first. All right, the items we've got at the moment is uh, 205 pieces of eight, hunk of meat, fish, map, shovel, sword, chicken, and some minutes. And I actually need to go back to the <laughs> but first we need to go back to village, cook the uh, fish. I think we need to cook the fish anyway. Don't we? I'm having a quick look at the uh, walkthrough. No we don't, never mind. I'm forgetting things. <laughs> oh, we, we get to... Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll encounter them in a bit. After we learn about sword fighting. And you will want to uh, pay attention when we get to sword fighting. But we need to give... None shall pass. This... The patrol. Ah, a red herring. The red herring game. <laughs> right, now we go to the house. Sword fighting. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Could you make me the best sword fighter on melee? You mean not counting the sword master? Counting everybody. I want to be the best. Better than the sword master? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla <laughs> at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. That yeah, ticket is... Yes. I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, 
I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student mentor pieces of eight bonding <laughs> that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against the machine. The machine? It's <laughs> gonna hurt. Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid, you won't hurt me. Use your forte against the foible. Use your forte against the foible. Watch your footwork. Use your forte against the foible. Distance, distance! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in <laughs> on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you, You fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with, So's your mother. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. <laughs> you should have responded with something like, How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this you're trapped up against a wall, my sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with? I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we're <laughs> in deep trouble here. Oh. Right. This is actually one of the a main points of this scene. Soon you'll be wearing my game. sword like a shish kebab. Would have been something like, First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. <laughs> I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Insult sword fighting. It's not bullying people. <laughs> now we get to... Uh, yeah, I probably was ripped off, yeah. <laughs> right, now we have to catch up with pirates. And uh, now he's probably too... Look at ugly pirate because he's coming towards us. No, nope. I come back here. Nice night we're having, isn't it? Oh, I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. Oh, hey, he's not got the answer. See, this is how we learn insults and uh, the answers to them. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. What an idiot. Oh, I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. Right, now we get to learn more stuff. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah? Right. You have to lose a few times to learn all the... You fight like a dairy farmer. 
Glad we got that one. How appropriate! You fight like a cow. Boy, give up, you. Win. <clears throat> right. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Just a sec. No, I just had to cough. Um, right. My name is Guy Prepare to die. Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast. That's to apply to that one. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I give up. You win. Best place to stand is right here. It can be dangerous to your elf. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. He doesn't know that one. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. He doesn't shaking. know that one. Boy, are you sucking. ugly! Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? I want him to teach me more, so... I've heard you were a contemptible snake! I don't know oh, that one. yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. I am rubber, you are glue. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! <laughs> Move out of the way or I cut my way through. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah. Now that you mention it, they do. That's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. <clears throat> Prepare to die. Right. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Uh, this one doesn't know. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, I'm shaken. Oh, I'm shaken. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> I give up. You win. Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. You have the manners of a beggar. I am rubber. You are glue. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I've got that one. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Yikes, nice move. Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
good. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I am rubber. You are glue. Doesn't play that one. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you feel comfortable with me. You make me want to puke. Don't know that one. Oh, yeah? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Oh, you got that one? Oh, I got that one now. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Right. I need. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I am rubber. You Doesn't know that one. Blue. Boy, are lose you again ugly. just so I can get some more. Ah, is that the best <clears> you can come up with? <clears throat> you fight like a oh, yeah, dairy a... farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. I don't feel I am yet, so. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name so is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare more. to die. Uh, see, I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Yep, we have to. Well, we have to fight over and over again because uh, oh, yeah? we have to learn all the. Well, not all of them, but a lot of the. You fight like a dairy farmer. Uh, replies the insults. How appropriate! You fight like a cow. Right. Wonder if he knows. Do you know that one? You go, make me want to puke. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, yeah. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. I need move out of the way. Probably a few or more. Me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Let me have to get to the Swordmaster. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. You fight like a dairy farmer. Uh, yeah, Carla is the Swordmaster. And she has to. How appropriate. And you we have to basically like find her in the in the woods. <laughs> uh, I don't have any which I 
don't know the answers to. Boy, so. are you ugly? I'm insulted. You'd even try to use that insult on me. You have the manners of a beggar. I know that one. Manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. You call yourself a pirate? Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? Yeah, I lost it, but... Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I said I do need to learn more, but uh, let's just go to... Let's go to the Swordmaster. So, the thing we have to do... Is be a bit sneaky. No wait. I see no wait. You have to go to something first. We haven't got everything yet, but um, it does take a little while. But we've got. Uh, I have got a list of all the things. I need one, two, three, four, five, six more insults to do. But uh, it depends if the pirates know them, so... Uh, <laughs> but uh, fork in the road. Right, we need to pick up some... Pick up... Ants. Right. Thinking, thinking mainly blood, uh, blood first one. Yeah, basically we need to make our way to this little uh, spot here. Ugly thinking, what's thinking? We'll just skip that for now. I'm not getting to the Swordmaster. Because we have got a fair decent of the uh, replies, so we might be able to win. But she uses her own insults, and you have to reply to each one. You can't, um, you don't get the chance to insult her. Bands. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Right. We now have to follow this guy. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything. Right. <laughs> there we go. Now we have to quickly run after him. He does come back if you try to steal something, apart from one particular thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, he just goes back to his shop and then you have to start all over again. So 
we have to go down this one. Down that one. This way. This way. That way. <laughs> There. Well, this is why you have to um, follow him. And now you get to the Swordmaster's house. <clears throat> I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. And you don't have to remember it afterwards, so. Always a good thing. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. The three leaves. Let's see if we can't run against How the... dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I surely didn't give you. Uh, so we go direct or just talk? Me, me, money, way. My be, name is Guybrush. We'll be direct. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. Right. Covered blood is... I don't actually have the one for that one, am I? Um, <laughs> yes, I don't have a reply for that one, which is annoying. Oh, yeah? But yeah, uh, she so uses her own insult. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Ah, there we go. But you've actually got this one. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. <laughs> I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. I don't think I've got this one. I am rubber, you are glue. Let's tea to her one for me. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Don't have that one either. I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm shaking. Only once have I met such a coward. Ah. He must have taught you everything you know. That's still one up no for her. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You he runs fast. that fast? No, she uses her own one, but you have to find I the appropriate... I milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I'm now one up. <laughs> My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. And... I 
don't have that one, damn. Oh, yeah? Still drawn, I need to win two more. I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. I don't have that one either. Stop using the ones I... <laughs> Don't have that one. No. You run that fast? Yeah, I lost. Yikes! Nice move. I hope this teaches you a lesson. Now scram. But we can turn so again, so don't worry. But uh, yeah, we still need to learn a few more insults. But we do have a chance of winning. And yes, it's quite easy to get back there. The first part. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I don't want to use her ones, so. Uh, do you that one just fight like a one. dairy farmer. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. It meant to be a bloodthirsty pirate. Why did you lose to that one so easily? Boy, are you ugly! What an amateur insult! You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Right. That one, but I don't know to apply to it. Oh, yeah? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Yeah, you can't use the Swordmaster's insults on them because they don't know the answers to them. So you have to you know, use their insults on them so they can get the answers to the Swordmaster. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. <clears throat> he must have taught you everything you know. I give up. You win. I've right, got one new one. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. That is that You're one. no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Right. Five more to get. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I just taught you that one, you silly. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Yeah, I don't want to win that you win. one. Right. Eh. Aye, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Of course, this does take a little while, so, uh... You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's what it is. You make me want to puke. Yeah, it, it's just basically half a game. <laughs> I would say half a game. Uh, you probably want me to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Boy, are you ugly. Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? Where did my sword go? Um, <laughs> oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Right. Where is it? Ah. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. <laughs> I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. I sort of technically lost, but... Uh... Only once have I met such a coward. That's not fair. You're using the Swordmaster's insults. And that's I what see. happens when you use Swordmaster <laughs> insults. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Let's see if we can have enough to go at her. We have learned two more. But uh, there is a few more which we don't have. Which I should probably mark down. That one. That one. That one and that one. All the others I can do. I'm back, and boy, are you in trouble this time. So there's only Let's four replies that we can't win. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate! You fight like a cow. One up for us. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Two up. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. I don't know that one. Oh, yeah? I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Uh, you have to get it five correct with her, I think, or six correct. <laughs> I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? I think this is one more. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. And we I win. Give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy.
you can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. Look, uh, yes, we have got a tea so it says I beat the Swordmaster. Um, <laughs> I'll just click out the thing. There we go. Yep, so he's basically one of the better pilots to uh, go against. Technically, you can still keep fighting him if you want, but uh, right, what do I need to do next? Um, let's have a look at the guide at Governor's House. So let's go there. And I've got a new follower. Thank you very much. Hadley, uh, Hatling Hatlu, I think that's how you pronounce it. So sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but uh, thank you very much for following. <laughs> Always a bit bad at pronouncing names, so uh, apologies if I did get it wrong. Oh, I did do that, that's fine. <laughs> right. Now we have to go to the governor's mansion and go against her vicious, vicious dogs. Of piranha poodles. <laughs> so we use this plant. It's hunk of meat. Let me give a chunk of meat to a piranha poodles. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed it's during the production of this game. This game is made by the same people who's made Day of the Tentacle. But Day of the Tentacle is actually a later on game. So, um, but yes, they're only sleeping. So you look, walk to sleeping piranha poodles. I can't remember what we're getting here. All right. Uh, do do do. Ah, we have to get into a fight. So go into here. This looks like a job. It's from the same company, yes. Top. But uh, this is actually an older game, but it's been remade. It normally looks like this. Well, originally. So <clears throat> and as before it's the same company which made um, Star Wars. Also, you may want to read the uh, text at the bottom. No, not the red button. <laughs> Look at Mendes Yak. A big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. <laughs> I can't move it. I can't move it. <laughs> this is somewhat automatic, this part, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll need this. They must be nuts. Gophers! 
Yeah, I think well. I think I really rendered it in that uh, remake, but uh, it's beautiful. I can't open it. Uh, it was a uh, fabulous item, which is beautiful. But you do have to look a, a lot at the park map at the moment. Is that uh... that should hold him for a while? If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Right. I've now got a bunch of new stuff which I probably don't need. Um. <laughs> Take your inventory after the fight, a few items must be added. Ah, I need a file. Oop. Apparently I've got a cake somewhere. Um. Ah, there we go, yeah. Right. Yes, still, still sleeping. Now I have to go to prison. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Right, we need to give him... Give that to him. I don't want anything but my freedom and maybe a breath mint. I think that was no. Oh, stop keep. Oh, we have to buy some mints first. Over to here. Where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? Right, that's all we need from there. Do you have files? I see. Did you mean hanging files or nail files? Nail files. Ah, sorry, fresh out of those. What else do you want? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I think I'd just like to browse. All right, oh, now we got the mints. Be my guest, fancy pants. You do have to come back here later to get uh, something from ooh, from that safe. All right. All right. Now we give mints to prisoner. Grago Mint! How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats! I can't stand carrot cake! But now we give him a go for a pellet. This might work on the rats. 
Thanks. Here's the cake. Use that. And now we have a file. And now we go back all the way back over here. This door appears to be locked. I've got the file. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. It... It belongs in a museum. <laughs> ah! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Um... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle <laughs> chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. <clears throat> I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Boo! And Wrinkly? I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Yes, I know the sentiment. Um, uh, yeah, anyway. Um, uh, let's go. Ah. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. 
This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Oh boy, Globus has the unique ability to hold his breath for a map for ten. Actually, it's more like a fabulous doorstep. No, for ten minutes. So um, just pick up the idol. I guess I'll be needing a sword. Sword. This one will do. And we're out on our way. Well, that wasn't so hard. I think technically you Not can actually have to die. Show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and die then. But um, you're alive. Yeah, you've got ten minutes to do Governor. it. So. <laughs> hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? <clears throat> what are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came uh, there, down there here to save your life. Festa wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. <laughs> Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. Kiss me. No, we mustn't. <laughs> what? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why, are you ashamed of me? <laughs> no, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. No, this isn't and the ending. We're, only in, we're still in part one. <laughs> I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay, then. Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be... Preoccupied. <laughs> but I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. Yeah, we're still in part one out of four. <laughs> right, now I have to go on a treasure hunt. This is a very long game. So, uh, right, now let's look at our map. So, this is our map. <laughs> it's back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. Uh, just do back, left, right. Back. Left, right, I don't know, I'll have a quick look, and it is left, right, back, the left, right, And back. And another quick look. Where are we? And it is right, left, back. Right, left, back. And 
here we are. We have now found the mysterious, the mysterious treasure of Melee Island. The legendary lost That's treasure one. of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Right now, we have to do some. Use X. No, this shouldn't take too long. Because X marks the spot. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t shirt. Not my size, <laughs> but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. Right, there we go. And uh, yeah, that's the treasure hunt. Oh, wait, he's back there, wasn't he? Right, and now we can go to the important pirates and show them that we passed the trial. What was that? I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. <laughs> what? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but... I don't think he'll like what it says. Attention pirates of melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. All right. <laughs> I need to pick up all these mugs. Okay. Doing that. There <laughs> Pick up mug. <laughs> and pick up mug. Oh, What's wrong? <laughs> the governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. <laughs> they put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. <laughs> What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> what can I do to save her? <laughs> you must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. 
And don't forget to write. Bye now. Make sure you wear mittens when you're going off an adventure. <laughs> right. Now we have to move. I might change to the old. This is actually going to be easier using this. Right. The reason I say this is easier is because I can look at. Use mug with melting mug. There we go. <laughs> yeah, this is grog. This is the stuff which pirates drink. And um, as you can see, it's melting through the mugs. Excuse me. Hey, great! A drink! I'm real thirsty. Yikes! Wow! And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh, yeah, thanks. My name's Otis, by the way. If there's anything I can ever do for you, well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me right, to rescue sorry about the governor. Unfortunately, I couldn't um, mute while well, um, the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will well somewhere in that. a secret hideout. I see. Well, yes. Mm. LeChuck, you say? Well, yes. Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and. Hey, look behind you! I three had a monkey! I can't believe I fell for that. <laughs> Pretty good trick, though. Right. Now, if I got him out. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Having just returned from melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten. Yeah, the effects are very crab. nicely done. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain. I don't need to go there. Like we don't have to be in the town anymore. Now need to get a crew. Right. 
Also, there is a uh, funny thing about the name of the Scum Bar, because uh, Scum is the name of the engine which uh, Monkey Island used to run on. I don't know if it still runs on it now, but uh, the Scum engine is uh, the name of the engine which uh, <laughs> they made all their pointing clicks on. And you can still use it, actually. It, it, you can get an uh, emulator for it. Uh, so let's go to Swordmasters. And let's get, uh, <clears throat> get a second member crew. <clears throat> Unfortunately, my cold is trying to kill me. So, uh... You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped. What? He That's ridiculous. He is another member of our crew. He just turns up later. Oh no. <clears throat> this looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Yeah, he turns up last mm. minute. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Right, that's us. Technically, our second member of the crew. And I say crew in the very loosest of terms, by the way. Right, now we're going back to where we were using the rubber chicken. Now we use a chicken on the cable. There we go. And we go <clears throat> into the door. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. Uh, there was a, was a door open earlier, unfortunately. Uh, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big, brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just <laughs> let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, 
touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Good. It's... Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. Jump in. <laughs> you don't get to see. I don't believe it. <laughs> you are a brave man after all. It is a parrot. Face the beast I've <laughs> feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Welcome, Kurt. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. We're nearing the end of part hey, one maybe of I'll get a uh, Monkey to Island. So. Tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Right, we now need to... Yeah, this is part one of four. <laughs> right, now we need to get over. So we use the rubber chicken again. Some of the other parts are sorted, so don't worry about it. But right, now we need to get a ship. Head here. Let me meet one of my favourite characters from the game. Well, from the series actually, because he's in all the games. Howdy! I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. Yeah, that, that, that way. that's normal for Stan, don't worry. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? Uh, I don't know if really I have that much to spend. Have no fear. <laughs> Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal... I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Right, we need to buy a ship on credit. Because we don't have enough this money. This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? <laughs> There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. <laughs> anyway, this baby's mine now. 
That is, until someone makes me an offer. How much would you like to spend? It, it, it disappeared then. It got sold by, by um... Oh. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old stands. It got sold back by uh, if chips. If you got a job, <clears throat> the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I tell you, I got a feeling you're going to leave here today with a new previously owned vessel. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Right, we now need to steal something sure, from sure, the shop. Sure, think it over. <laughs> I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I had a pen around there somewhere. There it is. I forgot to give you my card. <laughs> and here's something else to remember me by. A compass? Yeah. An extra strong yeah, don't, don't, magnetic compass. Yeah, don't, don't with your ask picture on why stand and how stand That's stuff. right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Right. Now we have to technically get a job. Or something to at least say that we can uh, afford things. Hmm. Also, hopefully you can't hear the wind outside because uh, we have got a storm in the UK at the moment. Well, we had a storm in the UK at the moment. A uh, minute, uh, couple. The past few days we've had a storm, but uh, it's still quite windy out there, so. Uh, Hopefully you don't get hear that. Also, the clock in the uh, top there used to say the actual right time. It never fails. A step away from the counter for two seconds, and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are? I, uh, you got a job? To be honest, sir, I am not employed. Oh, thank you for telling me that. I respect your honesty. But I didn't get to be 83 by being no jackass. No job, no credit. <laughs> Come back when you got one. Not my what answer. else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. I think we need to start okay. off again. Wake me up if you need anything. So you again. I think I'd just like to browse. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. Alright, we'll just restart this combo. No, he doesn't trust me. He doesn't trust anybody. Ahoy there, fancy <laughs> pants. What do you want? Right. I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You got yourself a job, finally, huh? All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I 
I clean ships over at Stan's used shipyard. I haven't seen a clean ship over there in years. You're either lying or you're just a crummy worker. Either way, I don't trust you. Oh, you have to remember that combination, so... It run. One right, one up. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. <laughs> Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm, I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. It's right, I, that's why I got anything. the pen. <laughs> so we have to get up here. <clears throat> Push. Okay, that's cool. Right. Pull. Push. Pull. And I probably messed that up, so... Pull. Push. Pull. Pull. That's alright. There we go. <laughs> There's nothing in here but this note. And we got it. <laughs> and we're now with me. Right, I'm going to take a small break after we finish part one. Which is at the end in a minute, basically. <laughs> Stan. Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap we one We have to again? buy the sea monkey. I knew it! I knew it! Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Because we can't afford Walk anything else. This way. <laughs> Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? What kind of price range were you thinking of? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. <laughs> Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... 
let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Oh, that's Great. Great. Absolutely this everything. This baby's loaded <clears throat> with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Welcome well, back. I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. We're making it as cheap as possible. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. <laughs> but wait, there's more. But wait, Did I there's tell more. you about the taco meter? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? We have to make it as we as I think cheap I can as live possible. Because we only have 174 pieces yeah, of eight. I guess that is <clears throat> kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Basically, if you imagine a used car salesman, stab. <laughs> I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think that's all of them done. Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Actually, I'd like lower. you to squirm a little more. I have to keep going. Sure. Hey, all the extras. That's my job, isn't it? I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the porthole defogger? I think he just goes through the same ones and we just keep saying. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. <clears throat> okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? Uh, I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. think we need to get down to 2,000, so we'll keep hey, going a few more times. Light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is a people want to do right in the chat. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the taco meter? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Yeah, much about extra already. 
Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Yeah. I'd like to make I you an offer. You... I think we have got down as as can, but let's see what we can do. How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? Let's talk extras. Did I tell right, you about the going, simulated man. wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Enough about extras already. Okay, I think we have got it as low as it can be, so we'll start with... I'd like to make you an offer. The lowest. <clears throat> Great. How much? I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. I think we're working in the wrong direction here. I know you can try harder than that. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that, buddy. You can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she sees this ship, she'll love you for it. Trust me. I'd like to make you an offer. Right. Great. How much? Okay, okay, 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. I don't understand. I thought you were interested in this ship. I'd like Last to make you Great. How yeah, it, much? It, that's it. He's pretty much a used car salesman, but a pirate. All right, 5,000, but that's my final <laughs> offer. Five thousand pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. There we go, we've now got a, a ship. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really <laughs> felt some bonding Look, here. We got a ship for a bargain price, I don't care. <laughs> it's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See? <laughs> See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Right. Yay. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am.
I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? <laughs> then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. Well, we got I almost forgot <clears throat> to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Um, uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Glad you could make it, Carla. Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. <laughs> ah, tea. I'm just going to pause for now and uh, I'm going to go for a quick break. So I'm just going to put everyone on the waiting screen. So I'll see you in a moment. Uh, going to be about five minutes at most. So see you in a second.
Right, there we go. There we go. Let's make sure everything's working. And that should work when I do that. So let's start. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Fred uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. <laughs> the way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh, right. I'm doomed. Now we do the usual thing of point and clicks and pick up everything which is not nailed down. So, pick up. Dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. It looks like an empty chest. Yeah, it's just an empty chest. Ah. Right, um, let's have a look it here. seems to be locked up tight. That's fine. But we do need to pick up the ink. But yes, we are just basically losing everything. Uh, let's have a quick look at the book. It is that book. Oh, wait. Look. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on mail proved to be a recipe, <laughs> not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrot would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrot would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. No, I, it, we are both excited at the prospect it is of the useful. first civilized people to learn Some the way. secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. <laughs> we'll set out again tomorrow. Uh, it, it's, that's the last entry. It's just a recipe for soup. So, this is actually just a sort. Uh, it is just a sort chapter, so... But sort part, so they look like kegs of gunpowder. Uh, I need to pick up. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. They're just old rusty chests. So what's in this one? 
is some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. Right, what else do we need? They're just old empty kegs. I think most of these are just junk. They're just old rusty trunks. Yeah, that's junk. Down. Go back in the hatch. Dump in the cupboard. Yeah, they're relaxed. Right, what do we need to put into the cooking pot? Use uh, that minutes. doesn't seem to work. Right. Use that minutes. doesn't seem to work. Give minutes. Cooking pot. Right. We used to need to have, have some stuff anyway. Uh, this bit I bought. This bit I always got a bit uh, stuck on because uh, it was always well, I always found it complicated really. Because you have to find a way to make the soup. Uh, well, let's say the soup. Get seal. Oh, open box. Open. Empin prize. prize. It's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it. That's how we get in there. Use key on door. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. Right. Look at paper. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick. Four leaves of mint. One human skull. Pressed. One squirt squid ink. Two pints monkey blood, mmm. One live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow eight, mine mononitrate, and BHA. <laughs> Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. All right, that's how we get to Monkey Island. <laughs> Right. Use cinnamon sticks for pot. I love cinnamon. Also need to add pot. I paid good money for this. I'll hold on to it. I see. That doesn't seem to work. Use chicken for pot. About time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Use mints pot. Good thing I've got a million of these. Some of this is just uh It's called how to arm yourself in sea battle. Some of this is just uh, it's called how to get ahead in navigation. Clearing out in bit inventory. Just a drop.
That doesn't seem to work. That should be enough. Uh, what else do I need? Uh, it's a staple remover. Um. <laughs> no staples to be removed. No staples to be yeah, removed. Yeah, I think they changed some of the bits in the remake, so. Uh, I can find my reference. Six dusty book. Last one's this one. Yikes! There we go. <clears throat> oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. I think I may have got knocked out as well. Holy monkey bladders! It's Monkey Island! Hey, look! We've made it to Monkey Island! Let us know when you found the governor. We've got an extra chair she can use. <laughs> All right, now we need to use. Actually, we need to get more gunpowder. But yeah, they don't really care. <clears throat> All right, let's get some more gunpowder. Take some more. All right. Now we have to get to Monkey Island. Well, get over to Monkey Island. So, um, here's a very conveniently placed a cannon. I'm only going to put this on if I really have to. Bye. Let's ah. get okay, so back up here first. This one, the off chance. I'll take some more. And now we need to get a light. to think of it, they're only dancing lessons. I wouldn't want to set that on fire. Oh, I need a wick, that's it. I don't see anything special about it. Where is the rope? Ah. There we go. Use my cannon. Use flame with fuse. Use that. Oh! And that is part two done.
part three is yeah, part three is another long one. So uh, hi, I'm Herman Toothrot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Right. Got everything. <laughs> I better leave it here. Take that banana away. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. Alright, anything else on the beach? They look like they're almost ready to fall off the tree. Oh yes, I remember that bit. <laughs> Alright. Don't need to be here yet. Monkey. Boy, it sure is hot here. I need to be here first. Uh, to do. Right. Well, I don't see anything special about it. Printed on letterhead. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. No, I do need to move it, but uh, I have to make sure it's in the right direction first. of this view even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now even if it is the only view on the island yes it is a nice view um I'm afraid I must be going now pressing business you know I'll just put it here. Look, I don't know if I hit the tree. Do you need to put the tree? I saw sure pick pick up the Mr. Toothrot. Please remove this dangerous object. 
Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a swing on the banana tree on the south beach. The cannibals. Right, let's see if this works. We have to hit this little tiny tree over here. Wow! Looked like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. There we go. Look at the odds against that are incredible. Right. Boy, it sure is hot here. Well, I'll check out this note while I'm at it. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. Right. Here's a dam somewhere, but... Uh... There we go. Uh, you can technically skip half the. Uh, if you can technically skip the movement bit where you just double click. Right, I need the. Anything interesting over here? No. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck. This is an old friend of mine, the one I sailed here with. He's lost weight. Never looked better. <laughs> what happened to him? Oh, nasty accident. He was trying to put up a swing. Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? Yeah, <laughs> Listen to <laughs> this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a bit of dark humor, so... um. <laughs> I think I better go now. Right. Pick up. Right. That doesn't seem to work. Right. He doesn't look good. He's. I think I need to get water running first. So. Sure is hot here. It is a way up and over. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Rubber tree. Oh, what up, puppy? Um. <laughs> Right. How do we get back on the other side? Uh, I can't get home. Sure is hot here. This way, no. Go find oh. them. Use. I need to find some more source of gunpowder. <coughs> How good. Look <laughs> at that fabulous ship out there. Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> what happened to your pants? What pants? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. <clears throat> yes, me too. <laughs> I need a cup of that. Herman, please return our key to the monkey head. The cannibals. Yeah, he has gone a little bit, um... Yes. <laughs> Give banana monkey. If you like it, give banana. Oh, no way you. Give banana to monkey. Give banana monkey. I think he follows us now. Did you hear we needed him? No, he doesn't follow us yet. We need yours first, don't we? I can't move it. I need to knock down some. Ah. 
That's why we need the monkey. That monkey had some piece of work, eh? Nasty case of yellow waxy buildup, though. Ugh. What? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> right. There's a message in it. It's a memo to Herman Toothrot from Yammer, Hem, and Haw, Attorneys at Law, regarding suit against Cannibal Tribe over malicious tossing of your oars into a chasm. I think we have a case here. We can probably soak them for emotional distress and possibly punitive damages as well. Hmm. Sounds like legalese. I don't think I can translate the rest. Yeah. Oh, it's a gross old bottle. I don't want it. Alright, maybe not. Need to find some gunpowder. side of the island. Let's get the river for quick. Boy, it sure is hot here. Let's try pushing it up a stain. That doesn't seem to work. Pick up for me. <clears throat> It came close, but I don't think it'll hit it again. Boy, it sure is hot garden. here. And find a cannon. Western side of the is over here.
Is a thing for hints. So do hint hints. Well, that's something we already know, but. Looks strong. Looks sturdy. Missing something. Oh, apparently, there's a port on the western side of the island, but. Uh, Finding a fort. <laughs> Eight. Oh, there's nine. There's the fort. Oh, found it. The trail ends here. All right. <laughs> Pick up that. Hey, nice spyglass. Looks just like, say, where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. You don't fool me, Sonny. Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Quick, pick up gunpowder. Pick up and a ball. There we go. I thought I was. Uh, yeah, he's. Well, he's lost the plot, so he doesn't really. <laughs> right. Sure is hot here. And now we use some powder. Bam. If we use that doesn't seem to work. We use That doesn't seem to work. Well, I'm no geologist, but judging by these conchoidal fractures, I'd say this is a piece of flint. Flint works best with things made of steel. Uh, steel, steel. Humble. There we go. <clears throat> oh, 
And pick up the rope. And we can just leave him there. Right. Use rope. Strong branch. <clears throat> Use rope. Stump. Pick up balls. Yeah, I know. <laughs> right. Beats. Use oars the boat. I can paddle it with these oars. That's strange. It says sea monkey. So let's land on the beach. Cannibals. I'm not giving you bloodsuckers your key to the monkey head until you return my banana picker. HT. There we go to the village. <clears throat> is very empty. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. It looks a little overripe, except for those nice juicy bananas. Is that a banana in your pocket, or are you just glad to see us? Got a lot of nerve stealing from the notorious Monkey Island cannibals. You're cannibals? Well, yes. Although lately, we've been trying to stay away from red meat. Only for health reasons. We're still as vicious as ever. Oh, especially with tourists who try to steal our stuff for souvenirs. Well, what do you have to say for yourselves? You, a three-headed monkey! Hey, do you really think we're that stupid? I wouldn't push it if I were you. Oh, go ahead and oh, look, a three-headed monkey! <laughs> hey, whatever you say, we might eat you, we might let you go. We'll have to talk about it with the village nutritionist. Come, let me show you our guest hut. That should do it. I need to pick up that. Pick up skull. Yeah, I might fit through that hole, but I don't think this banana picker will. Um, 
And no, I'm not getting squeamish. I'd love to eat the guy. So let's do it. But think of your arteries. We are cannibals for crying out loud. Yeah, but cannibals have to watch their saturated fats just like everyone else. <laughs> Have I got? Yes, yeah, very healthy cannibals. I think it's because he's insane, and they are trying to be you no know, give up on red meat. Right now that we've got bananas. Monkey! Lucky monkey! <laughs> Give monkey banana. Give banana monkey. And he should now follow us. Yes. Monkey now friend. Monkey help us get get into giant monkey head. I doubt anyone will miss this piece of junk. It looks like a sacred idol of some kind. Oh yes, that's how we get. I don't know. <laughs> right now, we're to go back to the cannibals. I think. include use that beats but we didn't need to get the monkey so never mind. Beats, go to the jungle, and back to the roots. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. The banana thief returns to the scene of the crime. Maybe we should just eat him right now. Do you have any idea how much cholesterol is in one of these things? Now then, how did you break out of our hut, and why did you come back? Don't eat me. I'll give you anything. Anything? Hmm. If you had some sort of offering for us something that we could pass on to the great monkey well give idol hey <coughs> wow this is impressive lemon head take a look at this oh that's nice and it says made by lemon head just <laughs> like one of mine we should take this to the great monkey 
Yes, I agree. We are very grateful to you for this fine gift. If there's anything you need on Monkey Island, just come see us. We should be able to get the banana picker. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must protest your acquisition of our voodoo anti root we realize that it presents a hazard to you and your crew, but this is thievery. The Monkey Island Cannibals. Alright. Not thievery. All I want is my banana picker back. But will they give it to me? They want the monkey head key back first. Ha! That'll be the day. Don't you think they're being unreasonable? It's not as though I'm asking for a lot. Hey, thanks. There we go. I thought I'd never see this again. <clears throat> you can take this key to the monkey head back to the natives. Okay. And don't worry, I won't use it or anything. All right. Now let's go use this key. I'll say it's a very good key. I'll say what it looks like in a moment. No, not a banana. I don't see anything special about it. Go to this beat. I'm guessing you did see it. <laughs> I wasn't actually trying to serve, but uh, never mind. Right, let's um, use the key. Use key. <laughs> inside the giant monkey head. <laughs> That's it. I had a feeling that in hell there would be mushrooms. Right. That's all right. missing a bit. Yeah, so I'm missing a bit. I have to find a book. Uh, cannibals again. Nearly at the end of uh, Act uh, Part Three. Of 
just been streaming for three hours, 15 minutes, or 16 minutes now. Have you come back to let us repay you for your fine gift? Uh, no, there's four parts. Well, actually, there is something. Tell us, what is it? I'm looking for somebody. Here? On Monkey Island? We're the only people living on Monkey Island. Well, the only civilized people. That's okay. The people I'm looking for aren't living. Oh, yeah. Those guys. Then you've seen the ghost pirate LeChuck and his cadaverous crew? Those jerks have been bugging us for months. Zooming around here in that creepy ghost ship of theirs. Wailing and moaning until all hours of the morning. Scaring away all the cruise ship business? Normally, when we have problems with the undead, we just cook up our standard potion of exorcism and be done with it. So why don't you do that now? Well, the main ingredient of the potion is a very rare root. In fact, there's only one in existence. We only use a little bit at a time, you see. But the Chuck stole the whole thing. Where is he hiding it? He's in a place beneath this island. Somewhere in a huge system of catacombs. A hellish place filled with the wailing of tortured souls trapped forever in the rock where the walls bleed and the air is thick with the rancid smell of pure evil. Tourists used to line up for hours to see it. Can't you just go down there and kick him out? No, we lost the key. It was stolen. Well, we loaned it to a hermit who lives on the island. And until that crusty old pantless weirdo brings it back, we're keeping his banana picker. How do I get to these catacombs? The great monkey himself is the gateway to the catacombs oh, of the one. underworld. I'm off to find the chuck and get the root. Sorry, but it's just not that easy. Trying to find LeChuck could be very dangerous. You'd never find your way through the catacombs without them. Hey, Ixnay on the Edhe of the Abigator Nay. The what? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on, tell me. I gave you the idol. It is a very nice idol. We could at least tell him what the head does. Well, it's a navigating tool. It's a head. It was once attached to a navigator. We've kept it alive magically, so we could take advantage of its innate sense of direction. Getting through the catacombs without it is impossible. But it's our only one, so you can't have it. I guess we have nothing to offer you. After he gave us that nice idol, too. Feel free to come to the Great Monkey and visit your idol anytime. So, anyway, Lemonhead, what was that you were saying about tropical oils? Well... All right, we give him... That as well. Ah, the key to the Great Monkey. Thank you very much. Uh, how do we get off him? Oh, we couldn't take that. You've already given us so much. It's called how to 
arm yourself in sea battle. To the Monkey Island Cannibals. Please stop uh, moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrot. Mr. Toothrot. Uh, please remove uh, this dangerous <laughs> object. Lemonhead knocked a rock onto it from the cliff above and nearly injured someone who was putting up a... Uh... Trolls. Let's skip. Um... <laughs> on the banana tram to the ghost to the monk to the ghost herman cannibal to herman there we go all right never do that again <laughs> oh we couldn't take that you've already given us so much you can find the Excuse us, but we're in the middle of a serious discussion. I know, but I really need that navigator head thing. I told you, we only have one. We don't know how to get another one. Sorry. Okay, I'm missing something. No, that's not gonna help me. Doesn't look good. Not here. Maybe there. bothered a bit by the fact that you waltzed right into my home without bothering to knock. Well, I would have knocked, but I couldn't find the door. Well, that's okay. Next time, be more careful. How did you get stranded here? Well, I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hope to discover the secret of Monkey Island. But my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. Well, how come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! So you're not the only one on the island? 
I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Yes, my name is not yes. exactly what I meant. I What's sailed it? here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. <laughs> oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my yes, plate. My name's Berkeley, my mustache's name oh. is Gerald. Well, perhaps I could take you back too. But I've got to you rescue have, the governor whoever first. Whoever doesn't talk all that much, he's um, I not think a she's on that person. ghost ship underground. <clears throat> oh, okay. I told you about them borrowing my banana picker and never returning it, right? Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> oh, that's all. Uh, e foot. There we go. Oh, I did have the right thing. Never mind. I'm just not used to this in, uh, infantry system. Oh well, at least we got to have a nat to a crazy old man. Um, <laughs> Now we go back up here. So we did waste about uh, what five, maybe ten minutes of time looking for something which we already had. Oh well. Get rid of that bit. Don't need it. Give leaflet them. <clears throat> well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Looks pretty good for a dried up old head, doesn't it? We keep it wrapped in this magical necklace that makes it invisible to ghosts. Ed. Oh, look! Yeah. I think he likes you. <laughs> you look, he's smiling. Just follow his nose, <laughs> and he'll lead you to LeChuck's hideout in the catacombs. Then, get the root from LeChuck and come back here. Mm. We'll mix up a batch of our special enzymatic ghost design. Oh, why, he's solution. friendly. And you can pour it on LeChuck like salt on a slug. Yeah. Good luck. Right. Now I'd go back to the monkey head.
Right, so now we need to use the Over here, then we'll start using it. Use. Yep, let's keep going this way. I think it wants me to go to the back. I don't know what. <laughs> Works, it's fine. Uh, I think I'll be running along. Yikes! I know I've got something. Right. Use that. You can't have it. It's mine. Him. Okay, we're here. Now what do you want from me? May I please have that necklace? No, but thanks for asking so politely. Oh, come on, please. You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Why can't I have it? I've got a bad feeling about this place. I think I might need it. Pretty please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Maybe I'll just take it. Maybe you'd better not. Pretty, pretty, please? You can beg all you want, but you can't have it. Why can't I have it? Look, don't be a nag, okay? Pretty, please, with sugar on top? Oh, all right, you big baby. You <laughs> can have it. Hey, what good's a necklace if you don't have shoulders? <clears throat> there we go. He's... He's, he's smiling. So we now use that. <coughs> this feels weird. Now we can go on the ghost ship. Hatch. 
It's locked. They look like chickens. Uh, no, they're piggies. All I got was a feather. But ghost feather. spot on his body. Maybe I'll be the right spot for that one. There we go. Right, use this with the key. That's alright. I have realised it is getting quite late for you, so it's... Uh, it's fine. <clears throat> hope you have a nice day as well. Well, hope you have a nice sleep. We are possibly getting near the end, so... Yeah, take care now. I, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Anything special about it? Well, except um. that big glowing voodoo anti root inside. Yeah. Hey, okay. it's locked. Let's see who's in chat. I still got a few people in today. So. We do. A quick look at things. Right. Use key event. And I need to Yikes. His rats. Find a ticklish spot on his body. Oh wait, need to use on his feet. It's all over my hands. So we now have a glob of grease. <clears throat> also, to anybody who's new to the chat, do excuse my coughing. Unfortunately, I still got a cold. So, uh, yeah. Use grease on squeaky This should stop it from squeaking. Oh, 
good. More inventory. <laughs> Should do it. I'll just grab this old root and be on my way. Right. <laughs> now go back to the cave. A long walk, a brief row, and a short hike later. I did it! I got the root! Wow! Look, he's not kidding! Here it is! He's not such a wimp after all! Come on, let's go make the brew of the fermented root. Wait here, we'll be right back. Right, it should be near the end. Look, we had the monkey. Nice monkey. There it is. One squirt of that stuff and the ectoplasm really hits the fan. And if you have any left over, it's delicious with a little vanilla ice cream. Good luck! Thanks! After some more furious paddling... Eep! You scared me half to death! What happened to the ship? They all left for the wedding. What wedding? The Chuck is marrying the governor of Melee Island. What? But how will they... Where's the wedding? There's a lovely church on Melee Island. They're headed there. Melee Island? Oh no. Why are you still here? My head fell into the lava there, and I had to chase after it. And when I came back, they had gone. Shame, too. I hate to miss the wedding. I've got to go after them. I've got to stop that wedding. Bye. Oh, there you are. We've been looking all over for you. Bob! Hi, Bob. Hi, guys. See, Bob, you're looking a little pale. Well, naturally, I'm pale. I am dead, after all. Dead? How did that happen? Oh, the usual way. <laughs> Out for a day's talk plunder, for a while. ghost ship shows up, the Chuck kills everybody on the crew, and then signs us up on his ship. You know. Gee, that's too bad. Maybe you'd like to join us on our quest for the perfect tan. Well, that'd be nice, but I am trying to catch a ride to a wedding on Melee Island. We were about to head back there anyway. You can come along. Great! We've got to get back to Melee Island. No kidding. Yeah, we're out of sunscreen. Come on, let's go. There we go. Have we got another member of crew? Last part. Well, that certainly was easier than the trip to Monkey Island. Do, 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 do. 
wish those guys hadn't been so excited about getting sunscreen. Hey! Wait a second! Could I interest you in some root beer, sir? Root beer? Oh boy! I love root beer! Cool. Alright. Now I have to go to church. That's great. Watch out, LeChuck. There's a new sheriff in town and his name... Hey, I better get to the church. Should not be united in blissful matrimony. Let him speak now or forever hold his peace. Stop the wedding! Hey! Who's that? You! Take this, you vaporous voodoo vermin! Take what? Are you trying to bribe me? Governor! Governor! Governor? What's going on? Oh, Guybrush, you mad fool! I'm impressed you came to rescue me, but it really wasn't necessary. I had everything well in hand. Unfortunately, your arrival has made it necessary for me to tip my hand early. How? Who? But... What? I thought LeChuck was going to marry you. Yes, so did I. <laughs> yes, yeah, so did he. But I arranged for a little surprise when it came time to kiss the bride. If you're here, then who's that in the dress? What? And don't scare them! They have my ghost zapping root beer bottle! Oh, I'll get it! Oops. Ugh, nice going, Guybrush. Now I've got to chase them down to get my voodoo root beer back. But... I... Uh... Hey! You dared come here and confront me? I can't believe your audacity. I had to stop you from marrying Governor Marley. I'll marry her yet. Ha ha! How do you plan to stop me? I'll douse you with my sticky seltzer bottle. You'll never menace decent, tangible pirates again, you billowing bag of... of... of something that begins with B. Uh, now, hold on a minute there, friend. I was only kidding, you know. We can settle this like gentlemen. Oh no! It's jammed! Must be pocket lint. Um, say now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> ah!
to see you, son. How's the ship? If you're interested in trading up, I can give you a fair price for it. Howdy, partner. You know, just by looking at you, I can tell you're a man of the world. A man with an eye for quality. A man who knows a good bargain when he... Bear, that's what we needed. Use root bear with a chuck. There we go. There we go. Sneak up on me like that. Sorry. That's okay. You know, LeChuck was a deviant, obnoxious, slithery, creepy, crawly sort of a guy, but I'll say one thing for him. What's that? He sure looks nice exploding against the night sky. Yes, it's very romantic. Can I buy you a root beer? There's more at Stan's. Oh gosh, I hope Stan's okay. <laughs> you know, I completely forgot about Herman Toothrock. Now I wonder where my pirate friend has got to. I certainly hope he didn't leave without me. Yeah, at least I learned something from all this. What's that? Never pay more than 20 bucks for a computer game. <laughs> a what? <laughs> I don't know. Not sure why I said that. Uh, and that's the end of it. <clears throat> I hope everyone has enjoyed the game. Just like to remind everyone, this was originally made by LucasArts, who also made many other point and clicks and many other types of games as well, and also were owned by, well, sort of, well, Lucasfilm and whatever, all the other things. Basically, same people that's made Star Wars. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to, um, I'm going to get ready for dinner soon, so, uh, yeah, I hope everyone enjoys their day. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the stream in a moment. And, uh, let's see, let's just wait till the end of the credits. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't do that last time. Should I? Should I? I'll just skip them anyway. Um, <laughs> Also, my voice is starting to go. So, uh, yeah, um, there may be a stream tomorrow. Uh, if I am doing one, it'll be a, a art stream because uh, basically just the doodle stuff. But uh, yeah, I've got a physio call tomorrow, so uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to be doing one depending on what time uh, the phone call is. Because, uh, yeah, I napped myself a couple of years ago.
Oh, he did a lot of poop. Uh, voices. And so did she. Come on. But, uh, yeah, we'll be getting around to playing uh, Monkey Island 2 at some point. Uh, I don't think... I think it might be next week we'll be playing it. So, uh, yes, do come back next week if you want to watch me play Monkey Island 2. And hopefully it won't take me four hours. Um, probably will, but uh, yeah, leave us ask. Oh no, no more credits. <laughs> no more credits. At least it's good music. And I'll remember to put the audio on. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you again next time. So, bye-bye now.